Welcome to, oh, God, is that good? Sorry. What is it? Uh, cherry bourbon lemonade. Did we do this last week? I think, well, uh, no, we, we definitely we, talked about it. We've done it before. In fact, I put it on Facebook as, uh, did I? One of the things to make for the Memorial Day weekend. It's the ultimate summer drink. It's the perfect summer drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's uh, bourbon, any kind you like, whiskey, any kind you like, lemonade, uh, and the juice from some uh, maraschino cherries, mm -hmm. and then some of the cherries skewered up and just dropped in. It's I'm beautiful telling you, color. it is stupid good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good looking. There shot. it is. I had to make one uh, Saturday morning to take that picture. So, mm. so everybody knows Facebook.com slash Sam the Cooking Guy. Yep. Oh, we got God. quite a little Facebook community going. Hey. Um, yeah. And we've been gone, but we're back, people. We're back. A slightly different show tonight. Uh, I'm on a time crunch. Uh, tonight is Zach's, the youngest of my three boys. Uh, you've seen him before scrounging around for food. Mm -hmm. It's his, uh, his fi what's it, final lacrosse banquet. The coaches say nice things. It's, He's got six days of high school left, you know, I mean, it's kind of a big deal. And it starts at six, which in California is right now. And then there's eating that, that starts off the night. And then they start saying nice things about the kids and they talk about the program as a whole and blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, I need to be there. Kelly said, if I'm not there for that part of it, <clears throat> I'll be in very big trouble. <laughs> Poor kid lost the championship of <clears throat> oh, his lacrosse. They oh, they did? lost to their what? overtime. Freaking with arch 15 rivals. 15 seconds left. They were up by, I think, three goals with about a minute left. Oh. My dad no, turns no, no, to no, me. no, four minutes left. I don't want to get into it. My dad turns to me and goes like this. <sighs> something, something way too way too much of a jump ahead. And I, I, like, I go whoa, like this. Wow, this is so great. Left. Max goes, Dad, there's a lot of time left. <laughs> and then every time they scored for the next couple minutes, he just looked at me and went. Everybody just said, dude. It's a shame. It's a shame that it happened. I'm still upset about it. But you know what? Hey, keep I think the kids are already on to the next thing. Yeah. A lot of the team graduating. They've only got a few days left of high school. They've got summer. Then they've got college. They're all excited. Mm -hmm. Excuse me one second. I'm like really hot back here, man. <laughs> it's gotten really hot in San Diego the last couple of days. No, I don't I like don't it. I'm not ready for the heat. I hate the heat. Anyway, so because I've got to leave, i got to leave at 6.30. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be in the kitchen tonight. I'm going to do the cooking. We'll do the talking from here. But I had this idea, and I, I didn't want to short the live cast. I know we started with 30 minutes as the live cast in the beginning, then it crept to 45, and then the boys wanted to bring it back down again, and now we've settled at pretty much an hour because that's what you guys that watch want. So it's tonight... Okay. Just, 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 so tonight at 6.30, when I have to bolt, or Kelly will cut my nuts off, <laughs> I thought we could have a segment called Ask the Boys, and that would be uh, Lynn and Max in the back room, show you guys their full mm -hmm. screen, there you are, and I thought it'd be cool if they could ask you guys anything. You could ask technical questions, you could ask random questions, you could ask junk about me without, being, without me being here to defend my sorry ass. <laughs> That's true. So if you think you would have a question to ask, from say 6.30 to, to whatever, the boys would be happy to answer them. Anything, favorite food we've made, do they like being here, what do they do when they're not in the live cast, any of that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do it on Facebook, right? They, they will ask questions on Facebook, yeah. so exactly. Facebook.com slash Sam the Cooking mm -hmm. Guy. So if you believe that you would have a question to ask, just let us know. Lynn, why don't you just type in, would you have a question for the Ask the Boys session, all right? So right there, we'll, you'll see the status and just post it as a comment to that status. That'll make it easier because we want to make sure that everybody can still throw up their posts throughout the thing. Right, and you can even put the thing. questions in there right now. Yeah, And then course. they'll answer them after. But what we didn't want to happen, I, I'm used to being in front of the camera. The boys maybe aren't full time. They didn't want nobody to ask questions. They just sit there looking at each other like a couple of idiots so anyway but before we get going too much further <laughs> i'm gonna have to make this and i'm making gazpacho wait shh, oh. shh. is it that's the ice cream truck i don't know if this is the night to do it dude. oh no we've said we have my wallet right is here. it really quite oh, okay it's, i don't it's, hear it is it going we'll away we'll do it we'll do it later i don't okay. hear it uh before we get there? before we get going too far I, I i got something today in the mail and i hey just pop it right it on top of the black circle I opened it up yeah. like this and I went, no, something cool is here. It says M&M's on it and I thought I, I'd open it up on, on camera. Uh-huh. Wait, it said M&M's? It says M&M's right here. 
your unique M&M's experience awaits you. So this I'm is now I'm it. interested. You are? Well, I'm curious. What the hell is it? I'm curious too. From M&M's? Did they just send this to you because? Well, so no. So this is a or? packing slip. I don't. There's a there's a guy's name here shipped to me here. So a, my own personal address, which is this house. I don't really advertise. Yeah, what, I'm not really sure. That? This is from Len Rakowitz. There's a customer message uh, that says, thank you for a great first year and a lifetime of amazing recipes. So first year would be the first year of the live cast we celebrated last week. Right? Wait, yeah. what? I, I know, uh, thank you. Are you saying that M&M's? No, I'm saying that the customer message. Yeah? Look, in, in here is a, uh -huh. it's a sold to and a ship to. Okay, can't we can't really see it. Yeah, okay. we can't really see it. Sold to and ship to. The ship to is my name and this address, uh -huh. and the sold to is, is Len Rakowitz, and an address where he lives. Oh, so we're asking who is Len Rakowitz? Well, I don't know, and then, yeah. and I wish I knew. I feel like I, I should know. Is it a fan that got us a Man. gift for the live cast? Well, I think so. It says, thank you for a great first year. So clearly, first year references our first year in the live cast. So yes. basically, they bought something for you and they put a custom message via whatever they bought right. it from. And so, but, yeah, so but here's we have this, no idea here's how this. they would get the address. I don't know who it is. I feel like I should know who it is. Lynn. Oh, it's a candy jar. Lynn, go. <laughs> Listen to it, Dad. <laughs> is he really going? <laughs> there he goes. Oh my god, it's oh, so loud. Oh, the guy's you right there. It? The guy's right there, yeah. He's right here. He's hey, really right here. Oh, he's still got his lava on. That's really cool. That's funny. Oh, look what I got. Okay, so look. Mm hmm. TV show? Online, and I'm live right now, and I want to buy something for you. Listen to this. <laughs> we hear you come here like every week, man. Yeah, do you have any, do you one have, time. Do you have any um, strawberry shortcake bars? Yeah. I'll take one of those. Oh my Chocolate god. Chocolate taco. Who wants a Choco yes. Taco? Choco Taco! Something you really like. Ice cream sandwich! What's that? Hey, Lynn, that guy's not a perv, is he? Oh, Lynn can't hear, <laughs> he can't hear us. Don't you wonder if the ice cream guy's a perv? Yeah, yes, I do. I'll take Snickers ice cream bar. Oh my god, listen to. <laughs> we'll take a Snickers ice cream bar. Do you think the guy just wants to go home at the end of an eight hour shift? With that song and just shoot his. Um, I, yes, I can imagine very shoot, much. Put a gun in his mouth. Oh yeah. Hey, we're gonna get some ice cream. I'm excited. We are. Okay, but can we finish this? Yes. Sorry. Oh, he is back. You did. Strawberry shortcake. Oh no, that's my call. Yeah. Oh, are you taking a picture? That you want. Which one do you want? What's oh, that's a chocolate. I want that strawberry shortcake. You what do you like? Do you want some of this? I want Snickers one, actually. Okay, Max was yelling for the chocolate taco. Yeah. <laughs> this show Sweet. is about food, so technically this is food. Yeah. I haven't had a strawberry talk. shortcake. We heard you. For awesome. watch, look at this. Those strawberry the color is really freakish, though. I know. How could this? There's got to be terrible. I got it here. Allow me to get a little closer. Will this work? We'll try. Yeah. There you go. Is Look that not like fluorescent, disgusting? There can't be anything good. It's a little crazy. And healthy with this. No, there can't. Whoa, it looks really pink on your camera. It's got the cake in here. Oh, it's so good. They're exactly what I remember. Yeah? A little bit sweet. I don't think it's cake, but. No, yeah, I'm you're right. It tastes like kind of like cake batter. There's like a cake layer in this thing. Like, can you see the? Hey, I mean, it, it's a little hot on the thing, but but this little layer right in there. Yeah. I don't know what's going on I here. I have no but idea either. If you've not visited the ice cream man for some time. Hey, do you think they have? I'd say it's a good fucking idea. Do you idea. think they have Choco cheeseburgers in Mexico? I don't think they do. You know? No. Nope. No Choco cheeseburgers. But wait. Look at that thing. I gotta do this. It looks like a taco, oh, and then it's got the, the Snickers. So before I do this, oh, yeah. just, what'd you get? Well, I'm imagining it's gonna be M&M's mm -hmm. for this, so I gotta clean this. I should probably wash it, but I don't really have time. Okay, so here's the big bundle. 
Your unique M&M's experience awaits me. And there's like a, there's a layer of like those frozen ice packs. And then these things. What thing? Shut the I'm hell so up. Confused. Okay, check this out. Hey, Lynn will work there's, camera three to help. There's three, you want me to come over there, Lynn? No, Lynn can work camera three. Yeah, there you go. Okay, there's three of these packs of green M&Ms. Wow. They say thank you on one side and they have the Sam Livecast logo on the other. No way. Are you well, Totally kidding? way. Who is this Len Rakowitz? So here's what you're supposed to do. Len, now, come to us. Now, presumably you would do this. Oh, that is cute. Holy shit, it has so, a Livecast logo. Look at, I've, I know that you can do that. I know that you can that is so Order cool. M&M's with like some of your own message on them. And they say thank you. Okay, that is really cool. Is he gonna, is he gonna Facebook and say who he is? I hope so. Come on, Len. I Those are so cool. What'd you say, Len? I dig that a lot. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, thank you very much, Len. This is really nice. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow. Hey, Diane White is asking where Blue Steel is tonight. Blue Steel's in Germany. Yep, with his German wife. With his German wife and his half German baby. The Germans. The Germans, Tommy. By the way, uh, if you haven't seen the movie Snatch, <laughs> uh, watched it so Monday. I know why. With Zach and a couple of his friends here. I watched it on Netflix, and so then it showed up in your queue, and you saw it, and you had to watch That's it. Exactly right. So we share good. a Netflix account. We share a Netflix account. I mean, no, we don't. We both pay every month. Right, we both pay. <laughs> we just talk about how we share the same like of shows. Mm -hmm. All right. Hold on. Wow, what a bad night. Candy? I know. Ice cream, man? Hey. I'm going to make up for it right here. All right. Um... I wanted, to do, I wanted to do two things, right. We got, we, you have only 16 minutes, by the way. I'm cool. Hey, Chief, somebody was asking, um, they want to know how much three treats from the ice cream truck cost. What is it? I, wait, guesses. Guess. Okay, my guess, three treats from the ice cream truck. It's Six a hard, bucks. It's a hard economy no, nowadays, guys. No, I'm saying uh, three, 325. What? Oh, wait, oh, no, no, wait. sorry, sorry. What? Wait. Her? No, no, not per. I'm saying total for three treats. Six bucks. No, I'll say, I'll say, uh, four seventy-five. Sam, six bucks. Six bucks. What is it? I gave him a Jackson. Didn't get changed. Let's put it that way. Wait, you it's gave a Jackson. him Jackson. You gave him twenty? No. Oh, I'm sorry. A Hamilton. It's all about the Hamiltons, baby. I gave him a ten. Oh, okay. A ten bucks? It was Whoa. nine dollars. It was. No, well, how much? Dollars? Wait, how much was it? Three it was nine dollars for thing? three. Nine bucks. Three bucks each. Well, you guys owe me now. What a riff. Fucker. That's a what lot a of riff. money. Shit, I've forgotten about that. All right, let me let me start this gazpacho. Yes. So gazpacho is easily one of my most favorite summertime things to make. Mm. I, I, I can't, it says summer to me. It's summer in a bowl. So imagine just like a, this, this collection of ingredients is gonna go in the processor and whir around. If you don't have a processor, Use a blender. If you don't have a blender, chop it all by hand, mush it, whatever you have to do. Get yourself to the point, borrow a processor so you can do this because it's amazing. You make it today, put it in the fridge, serve it tomorrow. I'm gonna serve it with a couple of big fat shrimp and I've really gotta get going or seriously, Kelly is going to murder me if I don't walk out of this joint. Do the does the Livecast Nation remember the last time you- uh, Got in trouble? Yes. No. You lagged too hard, and then you couldn't even go to pick her up. She had to take a cab. Oh, God. That, that was, was not so good. so bad. Uh -huh. So here's the thing. When you put things in a processor, multiple items, all, all you have to do is remember this. The first thing in is the densest thing, the thing that takes longest to chop up. And then you get to the least dense item, right? So here's what I've got. I've got um, a yellow onion that needs to go in. I've got pepper that needs to go in, cucumber. So I'd say the onion and the pepper were pretty much on the same par. 
Cucumber might be next, then tomatoes. Then cilantro is going to go in, which is obviously nothing. And then all the other little things that are going to accompany it. Oh, and I need some garlic. Sorry. What a mess. I hate garlic like this. Yeah, except you have the press. I actually have to know, chop it up. No, you can buy a press. Clove but, by clove. But so here's the thing, right? So here we'll do this. All we're going to do is we're just going to cut the sides off of these yellow um, peppers. If you didn't have yellow, you could use anything you want, but I find these guys are a little sweeter and I'm not too fond of green peppers for this. This, Look at here in here. You see this? Hold it down. But can you see what's going on right yeah, here? Yeah, the green. What's that? Oh, it's, it's a little like a pepper baby. in a pepper. It's like a baby pepper That's growing so inside weird. the pepper. Crazy. A little, a little pepper growing inside this pepper with a little baby pepper wiener growing out the side of it. <laughs> Look at that little thing. Is that creepy or wow. what? <laughs> it's a baby pepper That's with a baby pepper creepy. winner. Hey, let's hop over to Facebook for a second. Yes. Just to go back to the ice cream. Amanda Hurst says, in Bakersfield, our ice cream man makes awesome ice cream and serves it by the scoop or a banana split, and you can get nachos. That is pretty epic. <laughs> From their ice cream man? Yes, that's like the coolest ice cream man I've ever Wait, heard of. Wait, where in yeah. Bakersfield? In Bakersfield. Lynn is from I was Bakersfield. There, I was there yesterday. Nice. And am I right, but there's not much cool about Bakersfield? Eh. Whoa there. Are you talking about temperature? Yes. <laughs> it's, it's sorry. Hey, they're pretty close to Mammoth. I remember Krupp House no, and Bakersfield no, 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 on the way. No, 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 no it's, not, it's not even close. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do the pepper and the onion about the same time. Might as well, whatever. I mean, when you put it all in there. Right, but I wouldn't, want to put, I wouldn't want to put the tomato in yet because I don't want to turn the, I like it chunky. Yes. That's what she said. <laughs> I wouldn't want to turn this to dust, you know? Yeah. That's the important thing to remember. So this thing. Boom, perfect. That's it for there, right? Wow, Dad, you're going to like this. Yeah. Zachary Neuschler is yes. watching on his iPhone at Trader Joe's. Really? And he says, what the F? They don't have stick margarine? Really? At, at Trader Joe's? I guess not. That, doesn't, that does seem like something they wouldn't have. You know, actually, I'm, I agree with you. I yeah. think it would seem like something they, they might not have. Yeah. And I don't know, are they anti-stick margarine? Or they try to be more not... It's not like they're trying to be sort of... An, is, is stick margarine like chemical? I, that's what I can imagine, that they go for maybe things that are a little bit more natural. I guess. I I'm know. guessing stick butter is a little more processed than just, you know, completely organic. No, you mean stick margarine is stick margarine, more, yeah, yeah, more processed, right? Okay, so look at it. I've got one, two, two cloves. Let me give me one more decent sized one here. This guy's good. How about the fact that he's watching on his iPhone That's in line at Trader Joe's? technology, man. Seriously. Okay, we've talked about uh, kids not knowing certain types of tech. We joked about LPs here one night, right? Mm -hmm. And that the younger generation doesn't know what the hell an LP is. Yes. Like, I don't know what the F is going on with this stupid piece of garlic. Having some trouble? Yeah. Garlic is sticky, man. Look at this. What an awesome recipe that you can just... Throw a bunch of stuff into a food processor, and, and it's going to be an just amazing. amazingly good. It's going to be so you know, good. I'm going to make this tonight because I told you, right, Sam? I inherited a '70s Cuisinart food processor. You processor. did, right? Ooh. Which is like a tank Sweet. of a processor. A '70s? Yeah, it, it literally weighs like 30 pounds. It's crazy. Wow. So wow. I'm going to make some of this tonight. Okay. So this this one's going in. This one's going in. Okay. I'm just really pissed right now that how. Sticky and messy. This has just made my whole area. Ten I can't, minutes. I can't. Oh, no, no problem. Ten minutes? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Really? I could go take a nap for five and come back and still finish it. <laughs> That's what we Pardon do on the Pardon me for being down guys. here on the floor. I just can't. I can't. Uh, I have to clean as I go. I cannot deal with a mess. You do. It doesn't work for hey, me. Hey, for anybody tuning in right now, why don't you uh, update them on what we're cooking? <laughs> You're <kidding? laughs> Don't choke. Uh, we're doing uh, tomato and yellow pepper gazpacho. Yeah, we are. So we've got yellow onion, we've got uh, yellow peppers in here, and some garlic. And now I need to put some cucumber in. Oh, um, let me throw the cucumber in before I whiz it again. So this is, you know what, I just looked at my recipe on the website, mm -hmm. and the funny thing is, is my recipes have shown up over the seven, eight years of me being on TV. 
Yes. And back in the day, I was pretty anal about certain things, <laughs> and I would only do certain things a certain way. The recipe reads for this that you should not use the long English cucumbers, boom, like I have in my hand. It says you should use like the regular ones and you should de seed them. I don't know why I said that. The beautiful part of the English cucumber is that you don't have to de seed them because they're not a watery mess inside. Yeah. They're excellent. So, let me get rid of this. Mm -mm. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Okay. Does anybody have questions for Ask the Boys? <laughs> Do we have any yet? I'm trying to see if I'm, I'm focusing on the show. Guy Davis, who has been joining us recently again, yes? said he has some stuff, but he can't post it. He wants you to leave first. Oh, okay. I'm no, I don't want to Okay, that's cool. I don't really we want to know what it is. We won't tell him anything. Okay. Right? So here's what we've got. We've got the, the yellow pepper, the yellow onion, and then we're going to put some tomato in here. Because that would just get so mushy if, if you had thrown it in at the beginning, correct? Yeah, it would just turn to, okay. you, you don't want that. Eight minutes. What did I say? Mom is going to kill you. going to be fine. No, no, she really gonna is going to kill me <laughs> if I'm not out of here. So the recipe says four tomatoes. These are actually three pretty big ones. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to use three. And if you only have three, just use three. Recipes are meant to be modified, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Beautiful, chunky, gorgeous. Right now I'm going to start this pan heating because one of my favorite things to serve with this is a grilled shrimp. And this, is a, this is a little add-on, you don't have to do this. But I have to say, when I, have, uh, when I make gazpacho in this house, Kelly always expects there to be some kind of really nice grilled shrimp to go along with it. Mm -hmm. And it's a great thing. And this is like an uber healthy meal. If you're trying to eat better, you can't go wrong with this whatsoever. Yeah. You really can't. Question. Yep. Is this the same grilled shrimp that you made for our family dinner on, sun on Monday night? Uh, no. Uh, no, just a little bit different, but oh. you like those. That was, I loved them. And by the way, Jilly said they were the best shrimp that she's ever had. Wow. I'm pretty honored. She's a vegetarian, and so that pretty she honored when that, a vegetarian calls out a protein like that. Exactly. Okay, a uh, big handful of cilantro just went in. Colors changing a little bit. It's all doing the right thing. It's still super chunky. Look at right now. It's like a it's like a salsa, a big thick salsa, right? Mm -hmm. But so you want it. You can eat this with a spoon. You want this to be a little more liquidy. And here's what I'm going to use. I'm going to grab a little tomato juice that I have here. So at this point, here's what I'm going to add. I'm going to add some tomato juice. Nobody move. Not moving. Some salt. Mm -hmm. A bunch of pepper. And some Cholula. Very important. Yeah. And it looks like a bunch, but this thing's got to get some heat, some flavor. There's actually quite a lot of it in here. Yeah, give it a little kick, people. And now the very important part of tasting as we go. Ooh, I can hear a little bit of a crunch. Can you believe that crunch? Yeah, it's cool. Mm -hmm. It's really good. A little bit more. I couldn't really taste that. Salt does all the right things. And then there's something that I like to do and it doesn't really make sense. I like to add a little squeeze of olive oil for sort of like a little extra richness. Why doesn't that make sense? I don't know, because I don't think it's necessary. I do it to a lot of things. When I make mashed potatoes, I mean, I buy the mashed potatoes already mashed from the store and yeah. add stuff to them, but by the way, this is a clean spoon. Oh my God. Killing it. It's getting so good. All right, my pan's getting there. Five minutes. Olive oil. Five minutes. <laughs> I know. You think this is the test? Maxi. Yes. Go to the, can you go to the picture of my Facebook that I put up Memorial Day? Absolutely. Give me a second. I put this picture up and it said, I know it's Memorial Day, but shouldn't we remember every day. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, 500 people hit like on it, right? Yes. There's the picture, right? 484, 20 and, shares. And Joni Litton wrote, Sam, sadly it took me until uh, August of 2011 when we lost a really good friend, Master Chief Lou Langley, and I do remember daily. And I remember his wife, Anya, and his two sons, Gabe and Jack, who have to carry on without him. God bless our servicemen and women, and mm -hmm. God bless the USA. P.S. Sam Lou was a Canadian like you. That's what we needed to do on Memorial Day. Just remember people that we don't have anymore. Mm -hmm. But not just Monday. Every day. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. So I'm just going to season this with a little, uh, <clears throat> look, a little oregano mm -hmm. on these guys. People get so up in their head about seasoning. Yeah, don't. I think simple is better. Yeah, less is more. I really, I think, yeah, right? less is right? more. Right? Um, you're gonna, I'm going to put some salt on because, as we always say, right? Salt just helps the natural flavors of whatever it is you're cooking come out. Shrimp tastes more like shrimp. When you use kosher salt or some kind of salt the right way, and I try to discourage people from using table salt because it has additives, anti-clumping agents, iodine, stuff like that, that you don't need. You just want to have the regular flavors. And what else? Could I add something else? Uh, a little cayenne would be good. Mm. Cayenne. A little cayenne. And you have to be careful with the cayenne because you know how hot it can be? Yeah. <laughs> cayenne can take something over the top in a very unexpected way that you might not want. Two so minutes. Two oh minutes to get out of here? Yeah, Dad. Shit. Okay, so much for that and some pepper. <laughs> you were like, oh, I'm chilling. Okay, here, the pan time. is right I'm here. Fine. There's my test. Pan is nice and hot. And I'm using my ridge pan. This one, which I shouldn't take off the heat. We got it, we see. Got it? Nice. If you don't have a ridge pan, you should. And if you don't have a barbecue outside or a barbecue area, for sure you should have one of those ridge pans. You mm -hmm. New Yorkers out there. Exactly. All right, these guys are done. I'm going to throw these in here. Mm-hmm. I one, love two, that three, sizzling. Four, five, six. I planned I would eat to myself and give you guys each two. The only problem is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stay here to eat these things because I'm going to get in trouble. Wait, tomorrow night. So, by the way, I'm going to leave here in a couple minutes. You guys are going to stay. You're going to ask the boys segment. You're going to do that. Let me tell you this. Tomorrow night, we have Chicken Charlie. Oh, we yeah. had Chicken Charlie almost one year ago, and Chicken Charlie is... Not even arguably, he's the most famous deep fried food guy at any fair in the United States. Yeah. Our state, our San Diego County Fair is starting in a week or so. Already? And Chicken Charlie is the man. Wow. He's the guy that took um, White Castle burgers and dipped them in batter and deep fried them. He's the chocolate bar guy. He's everything. What deep did we fried Kool-Aid last year? Last year, deep fried Kool-Aid, deep fried brownies, deep fried Oreos, oh. deep fried Kool-Aid. Um, deep fried anything. Man. Yeah. Deep fried yeah. anything. Here's anyway, man, right? not, only, not only is Charlie a, a fun guy to have because his food is fun, but he's a really interesting guy and he's an absolute American success story. Oh yeah, heck yeah. Mm -hmm. So he'll be here tomorrow night. I adore him. He's become a, a good a good friend so i'm happy to happy to have him here with us uh oh 6 30. shrimp cooking okay i got 629 in here <laughs> let me just give this one more whir and think about if it's going to be perfect enough for me to eat i'm going to let you guys decide oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god good yeah that's a very good oh my god <laughs> So here's what we do. We take a little bit of this, we get it in our bowl. By the way, Nanette Carson says you guys should do a live cast from the fair. I'm trying oh. to work that out with the fair people. I was saying, we thought about that. <laughs> Deep fried butter, oh yeah, I forgot we're, about uh, that. We're, uh, we've emailed, we're waiting to hear back, but it's not just that we can do it, it's where we can do it from. Because I want to do it in a fun spot, you know what I mean? I want to do it on the midway and give us a new thing where I want to be mm -hmm. in a cherry picker up high. Okay, I'm going to turn my shrimp. 
because they're looking just stupidly beautiful. Oh, it's so hot. It's so hot. But just remember something. Everything we make on the live cast, you can make absolutely live yourself. The only thing that I'm going to add, um, sorry, to the gazpacho while I walk out of the shot. Yeah, you're good. Is uh, some good olive oil. I think a little extra virgin olive oil drizzled over the top adds just this pretty little richness to it that is definitely welcome. Wow, that's the end of that ice cream thing. All right, my spoon goes here. The shrimp. Oh my God, we're so close. What time is it? 6.32. All right. All right, we're doing all right, we're doing all right. You guys know that Anthony Bourdain, this is his last season of No Reservations. Oh no, I love this show. Wait, did you hear the news? Yes, Obviously. he's moving to CNN. Crazy, huh? He's moving to CNN. I actually think he'll be pretty interesting well, hosting a show. It's going to be like a talk show, right? Not a cooking show on CNN. That's no, crazy. but he's definitely going to be traveling around the world. Yes, okay. So it's going to have elements of his show now. Oh, okay. So it's not going to be like... Um, see, I was thinking it was going to be more like Larry King mm. than, than um, No Reservations. I, I can't quite tell. And uh, maybe they don't even know, you know. So this is not till I think, 2013 that it's going to start. But the question is, it's very... I mean... It's very likely to change, you know? Yeah. Hey, how, you, how have you been liking Howard on uh, Got Talent? Uh, I think he's good. I mean, you know what? I prefer Howard on the radio. I mean, I'm a huge Howard fan. Mm -hmm. but I prefer him on the radio. I'm not a... Uh, it's okay. I mean, America's Got Talent. I think he's good there. I mean, I don't think he's amazing there. But... All right, so these things are seconds away from being done. Hey, Lynn, you can get, or tell Lynn he can get a tight shot with that camera. Of what? Oh, what I put shrimp. on this plate? Oh, the shrimp. When I no, put right it on now, this plate? On the, on the pan. I'm, oh, he's got to come over here with no, it. No, he doesn't. You can zoom from there. Can you see that? There, it's too flat, though. I don't think you can see that. Okay. All right. Boys, when I'm gone, you can do anything you want with <laughs> how you set up the shrimp, whatever you do, right? All right. So let me just put a couple shrimp right here. Let me just, let me... Ah, that was stupid. That was stupid. Let me just show you these guys. Look at those. Wow. Look how beautiful those yeah, big they fat look shrimp amazing. are, right? That's the way to have shrimp. Nice, Dad. Thank you. So now we just put these on the side. One right there. Dunk one on top. Here's our gazpacho. Let me bring it over. What do you think? How's that look, Lang? Nice. Does that look pretty? That looks super gorgeous. It's super gorgeous, right? And so it's not just going to look super gorgeous. It's going to taste super gorgeous. So a bite of the gazpacho. It's still got crunch to it. It's still got bite. If I haven't convinced you to buy a decent bottle of extra virgin olive oil by now, this would be a recipe we'd want to run out and get one for. The gazpacho by itself, really good. The gazpacho with a good drizzle, the extra virgin olive oil on top of it, amazing. And now the shrimp. Oh. oh my God. Do you notice what I did? They're peeled, they're deveined, Double skewered? But they're skewered. Well, it's, it's a single skewer oh, that's got two things. But I skewer them like this, straight up and down, rather than doing the hard, the C. I just think they cook better like this. I think the presentation's pretty interesting, too, when it's like that. And a whole bunch of these lined up look way better than a whole bunch lined up like that. Mm. There's just a tiny little bite from the cayenne on this. You're taking quite a long time for somebody who has to run. I run five minutes. I should go. All right. Take the cameras off of me. Thank you for being here. Tomorrow night, full show, one hour, Chicken Charlie, lots to talk about. And tomorrow night, we're going to talk about Max's new... Show the picture. Oh, my Max goodness. has a new addition. Show it when I go, all right? Okay. Show that. And we'll talk about Lynn's visit 
to see his girlfriend's parents <laughs> up oh. in the Bay Area. Oh, we, we're not talking about that. We're not? I thought we were. Yeah, wow, you're just maybe like we'll, committing maybe, us maybe to we'll talk, talk about all this stuff I when can't. you're gone. They watch the show, we... though. The parents okay. watch the show. Mm. Okay, are we, I'm taking, are we shutting you down? I mean, what I'm taking the shrimp off so I don't have to continue cooking. Okay. For you guys. Yeah, you need to go, sir. I'm going right now. Um, all right. Okay, so I See guess we'll uh, I guess we'll dive into some. I'm questions. taking all my. All right, just yeah, just quiet. Come off. Stop. Okay, well, I guess we're going to dive into some of the questions that you guys have for us. Log two down. Okay. All right, hey everybody, welcome to the Lynn and Mac show. <laughs> we're super first. interesting, so I know you guys really want to listen to us. So um, I don't know. Let's uh, let's hop into a question then. Oh wait, first I got to show. Go back to the picture of uh, my little boy with his. Um, so Max got a new bow. Go to the one with the bow on. Oh, there we go. Oh, the bow tie. Mm -hmm. So I just got a new dog over the weekend. I got a puppy, and his name is Sunny. <laughs> the cutest thing. <laughs> Ever. Yep, he's a beagle. Oh, he's not just a beagle. He's a pocket beagle. So he's going to be about uh, 10 to 15 pounds and very small and cute. He's such a good dog. And he's actually in the other room just sleeping. Oh, there's another picture right there. I've kind of been going crazy taking pictures of him because obviously, how could you not? I mean, he sleeps like 12 hours a day, plays for 15 minutes, and then pees and poops. It's turned from a cooking show to a dog show. I know, I know. So let's just dive into some questions real quick. What's going on? So I had a pretty cool question from... Um, wait, sorry. Wait. What do you oh, want? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got, Zach has my other key. <laughs> I don't know where. <laughs> this okay. guy. Okay, Later. See you, Sam. So uh, Scott Krinquist asked, do you take all the equipment down each night or is it left up? And It's kind of a hybrid. That's a good question. I think during the end of the weeks, like uh, on Thursdays, we always take it all down. Yes, because we have Thursday between Thursday and Monday. I try and make leave this as somewhat of a house for my family when I get to go and leave, obviously. so. Um, but in between, we leave uh, the tripods and some of the lights just kind of pushed up against the wall. But for the most part, we break it down and make this a livable household yeah, for, a house uh, after all. for the family. Yeah. Um, Becky asks, the best Sam F up that you laughed at? that you laughed and laughed at uh oh i think it's it's a it's a tie for me there was a one episode back in like the 20s or 30s when sam brought the grill right up to his house mm -hmm. and after he had finished cooking um uh, i think there's a sweet sticky ribs our entire house was basically just covered in fog yeah and we were we were laughing so hard because it was just one of those things that happened only on the live cast especially yeah. when you don't plan <laughs> oh i know what my favorite fuck up is because he thinks that he's a badass and that he does all the who eats this shit oh and max is such a little bitch he can't <laughs> he can't eat what was it what was that horrible thing that i couldn't do the one where i did where we did the spinning and i got i got chosen it's the one who eats this shit that i that i had to do what was it what was that was that the that was oh it was the that wasn't the larvae was it no it wasn't the larvae it was the one before that anyway i love how my dad Talks a big game, but then he basically spits out every who eats the shit that we do. <laughs> That's true. We mm. gotta do more of those. So we gotta. Yeah. So you guys gotta help us come up with other stuff too. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of cooking questions, and to be honest, we're not the cooking guy. That's true. So, um, <laughs> but uh, Antonio um, Julian Lundquist says, when and why did the show start airing? And she asked it in Spanish, so I'm, I'm not oh. really sure why. Hey, Antonio, tell us where you are at. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. So uh, we started airing about a year ago. We just had our week. <laughs> our anniversary week last May 23rd week. 2011 was the first show so we thank you for all the um the fan support and mm -hmm. hanging out with us this entire uh year and it's been i mean if you guys watch the first i would even say 30 40 episodes it's different than what it's it is now so different so. we've come a long way i mean we today we were really shorthanded obviously it's just me and lynn and then sam out there so normally we have my mom and we have steve and we have i don't know a couple other people who can do other things for us but i mean the fact that w w I, I, in the beginning in the first 20 shows first 50 shows we probably never would have been able to do this with just a three-person oh, crew no way. we would freak out if we had yeah <laughs> this many people missing uh-huh so um on to another question uh diane asks um hey guys what what's your favorite cuisine to cook slash eat mm, that's a good one i like that uh you want to go first max Yes, my favorite. Okay, I'll start with favorite to cook. My favorite cuisine to cook 
is um, Asian. Going to be Asian. I love making different types of stir fries. I love making uh, Asian curries, like Thai curries and Chinese curries too. Um, and then I think I would have to say a- Asian food as well. I love, I love the different varieties. I love to be able to go out for sushi, mm. dim sum in the mornings for brunch. I love to go for spicy Thai food at night. And I love that almost every different, I guess, most of the cities that I stick to on the coast are going, are, you know, are going to have significant asian populations and therefore are going to have awesome asian food so i'll go with that and the funny thing is i'm the exact opposite my favorite food to um, cook and eat is actually italian and french so i don't actually do a lot of um, chinese or korean or asian japanese any kind of like asian cooking i don't actually do because I don't know, I'm not good at it, and um, I leave that to my mom and my extended family. <laughs> and, I bet. Uh, we got to get them down here to make us some traditional yeah. stuff. Well, Come my on. mom comes about tw- once to twice a year to San Diego to celebrate Christmas, and so. Um, oh, so we got to get her in here for on the couch at the end of the year. Um, hey, and while we have you guys, I just want to make a heartfelt request to all of you to tell your friends. And literally, if you're at a friend's house, everybody has iTunes. Almost everybody has iTunes. If you're at a friend's house, if you're at your family's house, hop on their computer, go to the Sam Livecast page on iTunes, and just subscribe to all of our shows. Leave comments. Leave Mm -hmm. ratings. It makes a big difference for us. We we work so hard to give you guys the show completely free. Obviously, this all costs a lot of money to run monthly and a whole lot of work, but we want to make sure that we get it to you guys for free. And... All we ask in return is that you tell your friends, you hit the subscribe button, you leave the ratings, you leave the comments. And um, I mean, that's really it. Just, you know, maybe share our Facebook posts, show your friends the pictures. Lynn takes obviously amazing photography. Thanks, man. And uh, yeah, it's been a fun ride. It's been a cool year. And I can't believe this is the first time that we've just done this, like just the two of us talking. Yeah, and it kind of shows we have a lot of questions. That uh, Mert Cox and Shereen Bergen both asked the question, what do you guys do for your day jobs? Mm. And um, it's funny, I actually got hired on because I used to work with Max. And Mm -hmm. this is... This is going to be a story I think only you guys fans know because it's it's kind of an obscure story. And um, mm-hmm. we used to work together at a law firm, mm-hmm. and the whole everything's in- interconnected. My boss is great friends with Sam, and I do mm-hmm. IT and I, I work with computers, so mm-hmm. that's how I got my start here. And yeah, I still do it. I still work there, and I still work here. Yeah, I so vividly remember it. Um, my dad and I were in the kitchen just talking. Of, we were in the beginning stages of you know putting together a team and putting together plans and stuff, and we were like, we need we're going to need some a technical person that's going to be able to answer questions that we have and do things like that and i said dad you remember lin chi right he w- works at the law firm blah 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 he goes yeah absolutely because my dad has done used to do um the holiday parties for the law firm yeah and so lin you know it, obviously he's a huge foodie a huge fan of cooking and uh that was the next step was to invite lin over the three of us sat down in the kitchen we had some food i think and uh we started making plans yeah and, and that's uh, to be honest i remember when max te- texted me and said we're doing this um, live show thing. Do you, any, do you know anything about podcasts and, you know, running websites and broadcasting over here? And I was like, I can learn, I can figure it out. And I thought I was coming in to consult and just to, you know, say my piece and leave. And then I ended up coming in for an interview. Actually, yeah. I remember being uh, at the table where Sam sits right now and, you know, every light was off except for the light overhead. It was <laughs> yeah. like seen straight out of the Godfather. <laughs> and um, we were just talking, Sam offered me a beer and um, we just, you know, it was a good time. And at that point I was just a big fan of Sam's. I actually didn't mm-hmm. know, I didn't know Sam, I guess, you know. Like you do now. Yeah, obviously. other than other than just being like on a fan level, like it wasn't a professional relationship or anything. So mm-hmm. that was really cool. And um, that's how I got my start here. And, and we've come quite a long way from, you know, going to, uh, conferences to show us like what technology is out there to do this to buying all the stuff to finally running the show and having the worst first show ever <laughs> and now we oh, have man. um 147 shows and it's all thanks to you guys who watch dude we have a lot of shows yeah so. wait can we go back i want to say um i just saw gregory minor i think he's in watching live from italy so hello to you in italy greg what's up man so oh yeah and then also max um you ate squid Oh, yes, it was. Yes, it was. Wait, and so really quickly, just to answer the day job thing, I, uh, oh, look at Haley back there looking at the front door. She's waiting for mom and dad. Hey, Haley, come here. Good girl. Um, So my day job, I exclusively do video stuff. I um, work for a a few different clients. I shoot promotional video things and some photography and uh, some marketing stuff, and that's what I do during the day, and then come here for... um, 
my night gig three days a week absolutely Mm -hmm. and we have a lot of fun doing it and seriously it's all for you guys and we just appreciate um i wonder if there's anybody actually watching us right now no there's people watching us. are there really are there really people are they just trying to make us feel better so the funny thing is we have we have a lot of fans i think we consider super fans and to uh-huh. be fair to everybody, we won't actually tell you who we think are super fans because a lot of you guys are pretty super. And, yeah, you're all super fans. But there's one guy in particular. His name is Guy mm-hmm. Davis, and he asked Max and Lynn, the night that Sam drank shots with a guest cook, did he puke? <laughs> I remember he drank a lot. He did not puke, but yes, that was he a was, night of heavy drinking. <laughs> he was pretty much gone by the end of the night, and I can tell you by the time I had packed up and left, he was in a very, very happy place. Guy. I yeah. don't think he puked. I mean, you got to remember, Sam's... Sam's a pretty pretty good drinker. Uh huh. I got a, I actually got a call from my mom that night, and it's normally <laughs> my my dad is normally the one who stays up, you know, maybe eleven, twelve. My mom is the one who goes to bed between you know nine and ten, and so I actually got a call from her that night at about eleven o'clock, saying that uh, Sam the drunk Sam the drunk guy was in in bed like talking in his sleep and rolling around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that so, was that yeah, was that a was lot. Shots, but yeah, so um. Interesting. Jeff asks, have you guys ever wanted to trade jobs with Sam just for one episode? I'm sure it'd make for a hilarious evening. Okay, Jeff. That's hilarious. First of all, there would be no shot switching. It would look terrible, <laughs> and Sam would be back here confused as hell what yep. to do. So, um, I don't know. I don't think the idea's ever come up. This is still the Sam live cast. I mean, if you look at that sign back there, mm-hmm. it says his name on it. And so, that's this is his gig. And to be honest, we have a lot of um, cooking questions that got asked today um, for the Ask the Boys. And honestly, the boys... I mean, we aren't the, the cooking guy, so we don't know. Let's the take difference. one cooking question, try and answer it as best okay. as we can. So Anna, um, Sabrina Leitner says, what's the difference between kielbasa, bratwurst, knockwurst, Polish sausages? Wait, whoa, say that again. <laughs> what is the difference between kielbasa, bratwurst, knockwurst, or Polish sausages? Okay, kiel- mm. so kielbasa yeah. I think is spicy. I don't. That's that. I don't even know if my dad would be able to answer that one. Um, and some oh people, wait, I just saw what Blake said. Is Max going to get pissed when he when I cashed his check a month after he sent it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> brutal, Lynn. Thanks yes. or brutal, Blake. Thanks, bro. Now I know that I've got extra four hundred bucks coming out of my account. <laughs> he said, "Did Lynn openly sob when Yao Ming retired, or did he just quietly weep?" <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't a huge Yao Ming fan. I'm not Chinese. I'm Taiwanese, sir. So. Um, <laughs> You know, he's he did he did a lot of good things for the sport, but I did not openly sob. I thought it was sad that it ended the way it did, but mm-hmm. his time was coming. So you know, he's a big guy. He's you know knees give out and stuff. Yes. Uh, another food question is Catherine Pettit. She was the first one to respond. She said, "A good recipe for teriyaki sesame dressing for salad, because I'm sure you have one." Ooh, I don't that's know. something that we get from Mrs. Cooking Guy because she makes the best dressings. But that's more of an Asian recipe, Asian dressing, kind of. She would ask with teriyaki, right? Yeah. I actually, I know that, I know for, I don't know the recipe off the top of my head, but I know for a fact that my dad has a great Asian y dressing that has, like, I think soy sauce and teriyaki. And uh, he gave me it in a bottle for to bring home to my apartment for a salad. And I put it on and it was just amazing. You know, to be completely honest, um, Catherine, I buy the, um, it's you can find it at Vons, but it's a simple ginger sesame dressing that they sell next to the salads, and it's kind of expensive. It's in a glass bottle. It's pretty small, and it has like a, a Japanese like drawing on it. it. It's it's amazing. I can't remember what it was called, but um, I put that on all my salads, and I used to marinate chicken and things like that. It's a tad expensive, and you can probably make it yourself because it's just basically a lot of crushed ginger, onions, teriyaki sauce, and a little bit of sesame oil. But you know, it's it's great. All right, I think on that note, we should uh, wrap it up. But I think this was awesome. We should try and do this again sometime. I yeah. mean, if you guys, hey, it's up to you guys. So if you guys like it, I mean, tell it, just throw it on the Facebook wall. And I mean, everybody that's part of this live cast is consistently reading that. So we see what you guys write. We really, we really appreciate all the nice things you guys have to say. And honestly, it makes us feel great when we see that. And just keep doing it. And we love you guys. Yeah, absolutely. So just tune in for new episodes on the samlivecast.com. This yep. is where you're watching probably right now yep and um always comment on facebook facebook.com slash sam the cooking guy and if you go to our website at um um the sam livecast.com mm-hmm. you know you can go get recipes and you can um grab uh, all of our feeds like we, you know we're on itunes there's three feeds hd sd audio in case you just want to listen stitcher, there's stitcher radio which is a free radio application so you guys if you're in your car and you just want to listen to a us idiots mm-hmm. talk a little bit <laughs> literally i do it all the time i love to listen to the audio version of our show because it's a totally different perspective 
Right. And it's, I mean, it's a great way to kill time if you're at work and you can have an earbud in or you're on the treadmill or something. Mm -hmm. Just do it. It's awesome. And then don't forget, too, we're also on YouTube. Yep. And that's where a lot of you guys probably watch some of your vids. So youtube.com slash mm -hmm. uh, the Sam Livecast. And I mean, seriously, all these uh, clicks and hit, hits and views, they help us and they help our cause. And mm -hmm. we love to do the show for you guys. And um, just keep tuning in and we'll, we'll give you more content. Hell yes. All right, guys. All right. On that note. It's been a great evening. Hey, Chicken Charlie tomorrow. Back in the house. It's going to be really cool. Uh, anything else going on tomorrow? No, I think that's it. All right. Well, we'll be back in full force tomorrow evening. So we will uh, see you then. Take it easy, everybody. All right. Everybody have a good night. Peace.